I remember saying like a few months ago that I was excited for the babies to be walking because that meant like getting in the car and going places would be easier because they could walk under their own power to the car and I wouldn't have to carry both of them. That has definitely not been the case. In fact, I mean, if you have a toddler, they never walk in the right direction. They don't come when they're called. <laughs> Just waving at the neighbor walking by. They don't come when they're called. They don't go in the right direction. They both go in opposite directions. You have to carry them anyway, but now they're heavier and bigger. So it's just harder. Um, I don't know. Leashes might be our next step. I think a leash would be great. A harness type thing. Yeah, like a harness. Let's look at the target. Backpack? I mean, the backpack leashes are, Yeah, I feel like they like them. And then they could put little toys and stuff in there. Yeah, keep like a purse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we might start doing that. I don't know, it's very hard to get them gathered up and in the car. It takes a while. But we're going to Target right now because Bear has exactly two pairs of shorts and it's gonna be really nice all week. 83 today. So we're getting him some shorts and a couple of other things. We were gonna to go to the park, but I think we we're running out of time on that. I wanna get Lyndall an Easter bonnet. Yeah, bonnet. <laughs> she also mentioned <laughs> gloves, Easter gloves. Well, I remember we used to wear Easter bonnet, hat, purse, uh -huh. gloves. So mom and her twin, they're identical twins, and they were number four and five. Kids number four and five, right? Yep. And then Laurie made six, Aunt Lala. So I just can't imagine having three kids and then two set, and a set of twins and then another kid and then having like the patience and the time to put them in an Easter outfit that involved gloves. <laughs> that just is super impressive to me. Of course, we were like four when Laurie was born. So. Oh, okay. So that could have been before Laurie. Yeah, probably. But still, that's five kids. Yeah. Including a set of four-year-old twins. Three-year-old mm -hmm. twins. That's a lot. It's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, I don't. I did not plan on Linda wearing a bonnet. But <laughs> if you find her one, I'll let her wear it. She should wear a bonnet, right? I, yeah, I I don't know. <laughs> so I, I searched and searched for an Easter dress for her and like Oh there's Luana. Carter's had hey. I don't, like three or four dresses that were in the twelve month size. And I just don't want her to be in like the Carter's dress of the year. Not that there's like any other kids that go to our church that are little girls, but I just I wanted something a little more unique. And I ended up finding one on Amazon that was like the only place. And then Jimbery, we have one of those, but it was totally picked over, so we couldn't really. They had some darling ones there. They were just bigger, <laughs> bigger sizes than what she would fit into. So. Where's Junebug? There she is! Junebug! There she is! We're trying a different configuration today and they like it a lot. Where's Junie? Hi, Junebug! Hi, Junebug. Hi. Hi. I got some shorts for Bear. I got a couple of different pairs of leggings for me because I'm just, they're all sliding down. They drive me crazy. And I researched and Champion is actually one of the brands they said slides down the least and they're only like 25 bucks. And then mom picked this out for Junebug to wear for Palm Sunday at church. Pretty dang cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in her pile here. Ah. And she already has an Easter dress, Mom. I know, but... <laughs> she... <sighs> oh. But hers has Easter bunnies on it. I know. I wouldn't think an Easter, just... Oh, just a dress to have? Mm -hmm. Just for everyday wear? Just a fancy little dress. <laughs> What is that? A ball. A ball. Is there another one? <laughs> A ball. That's pretty cool. Okay, you want to go see the other ones? Come on. A ball. Cool. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! It's 
warmer than it looks. It kind of looks dreary, but it's like in the 80s. And these guys don't care what temperature it is. <laughs> so the other day we had like this torrential downpour plus we were washing the cars and we realized that this drain over here doesn't drain very efficiently. So I tried to like replicate it by turning the hose on, but apparently the rain must have helped quite a bit more than I realized because it's not really filling up like it did the other day. So we improvised. This is like the best $5 we've ever spent. This little swimming pool. It's also a ball pit when we're inside. It's been a swimming pool inside. It's slippery, June bug, when it's wet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Oh. This is fun. Sit down, Junie. Thank you. Girl. Good job. Uh oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Uh, I should have brought way. the waterproof camera out. <laughs> yeah, you're in the danger zone. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. He's going to figure that thing out. Yeah, he is. Oh, boy. <laughs> you okay? Is your finger stuck? What do you want? Watch. Watch. Probably shouldn't be teaching you this. Mm-hmm. See what you do with that. Don't spray your sister. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I know. You're not quite old enough for that yet, buddy. Let's not do that. Oh boy. Someone's gonna get soaked. Grab your towel and wipe it. Not with your hand. Here with your towel. Towel. Here. Here, you can have some too. It's like I don't think so. I think I'm good. Wipey, wipey, wipey. See? Wipe it. Can you wipe it with your towel? Keep going. Wipe. Clean the window. Lindell. Let me take that. Okay. I don't know. May not be old enough yet. No, no. Excuse me. Oh, I just there. Good job, Linda. Woo! Good job helping grandma. That's good. Claire's got a sticker from Target today because they Buckled up for safety. That's awesome. Yay, bear. Okay, Lindell. It's all good until you started doing that. Let's throw that in the trash. Let's throw it in the trash. Over here. Junebug, it's over here. Lindell. Can you throw it in the trash? Put it in there. Good job, Lindell! Bear likes to throw things in the trash that don't go in there. Mm-hmm. We got a package in the mail today from Aunt Tanya down in Australia. Tanya, re you really did, outdid yourself. I mean. The box, they were like, do you need help with 
I'll get in this to your car. And I'm like, I think I can do it. And then they brought it out like on a wheelie thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. They're like, okay, I'll take the help. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it's quite the box. Yeah. We, so awesome. We're just humbled that, you know, you guys feel like family to us. And it's humbling to know that we feel like family to you too. So it's very, very cool, this YouTube thing, because it seems like, I don't know. It seems like it's impersonal and abstract <laughs> until stuff like this happens or until like you read that comment of how like one of our videos impacted someone and your comments definitely impact us and it's just really very cool. And then her little four-year-old niece Ariana drew this awesome picture. Rachel even has a little little baby in her tummy. Bear has a bear on his shirt and has a flower. <laughs> Cute these swimsuits are. Awesome. Oh my god. Rachel's definitely most excited about some goodies, chocolate, and, and some M&Ms. Oh yeah. Oh my god. So awesome. Does that come in my size? Thank you, Tanya. Hot cross bun M&Ms. Whoa. <laughs> what are they? What is that? Bear bear. That's right. Bear bear, can you say it? That's right, baby. Oh my gosh, he just went nuts over that. Yeah, they both were like, baby, baby, and baby. He's trying to grab it and hold it. That's a really good thing that you're pregnant and they're liking babies. Yeah, that's right. Oh, be so soft. Yeah. That's okay. right, Bear Bear, baby. Here, June Bug. Aww. Aww. That's so nice. What is this? A baby. It's a baby. We're not having twins again, just to clarify. <laughs> Alexa, pause music. So we were listening to the soundtrack to Parenthood. Great series. We consider ourselves Braverman, part of their family. Uh, so if you haven't watched the series, you should check it out. Totally. Parenthood, it's really good. Really great soundtrack as well. So Rachel, had, that, did you have a message or a phone call? On that subject, we need a new series to watch. So if you have a good one, we really liked Breaking Bad, we really liked Dexter, we really liked Parenthood. Um, what's like the best series? Like we just don't have a lot of time to waste. I really so. liked Game of Thrones, but Rachel did not. I didn't. I think if I gave it more time, I could get into it. But okay. So anyway, I got a phone call today, and it was while we were in Target, so I didn't answer my phone. But I got a message, and it was from the office manager of the clinic I just fired. It's the same lady, like, I specifically called and talked to and laid out, like, everything, all of the issues that I had with that clinic, I laid it out for her. And so here we are a couple of weeks later, and she's, she calls me and she's like, hey, I just saw that, um, you know, we got a records release so that we could transfer your records to a different office and you also canceled your upcoming appointment and we just wanted to know if there was anything that we did or how we can improve patient experiences for others and so like she obviously had no idea that I was the one that she talked to about all of these things so she wanted me to call her back and just like give like an exit interview so to speak to help them out I ended up calling her back but she didn't answer so I'm I'm just like all I would say is like I already told you what? I'm just, I mean. Yeah, you know, what's your take on all this? You've been pretty quiet. Seriously, just what a horrible experience. Just, I mean, there's just, there's no excuse for how Rachel's been treated. The quality of, I mean, I guess I can't really say quality of care because the doctor was good. That's what sucks, because like the doctor really liked her. Yeah, that's just really sad. It is. It's the whole, like how the whole office was run. Like it's not that hard to treat a patient with respect and to be able to do what needs to be done. We do it every day. We're medical professionals. We do it every day. And so, just to experience that, 
I guess it's good for us to experience it because then we'll, you know, try to go the extra mile for our patients and make totally. sure. Uh, frustrating. Out of the last two weeks, how many times have we had taco soup? <laughs> Um, out of 14 days, probably 11. And that includes lunch and dinner. Luckily it's good. So, I know that I have officially reached dad status. <laughs> look, at, look at this outfit. I think it's adorable. Oh, thanks honey. I love that my mom. <laughs> oh, are you having so much fun with your new toy? There was one, a little bit of <laughs> vlog time there. So when we graduated optometry school, my mom was like really, really excited to have a daughter and son-in-law that were doctors. So she got like this big banner made that looked like this. I think she just went to like Vistaprint and selected like one of the standard <laughs> <laughs> patterns, which is a beautiful pattern. It's a, it's a, it's a gorgeous pattern. What? That was when you were just a twinkle in our eyes. Yeah. Um, so anyway, she had like this big banner made for us and like we had this big graduation party with some of our family and we camped out in RVs. And then she had some, it's probably an option as you check out to like get a mouse pad or a coffee mug and she picked a couple of shirts. I, I still have mine too. Yeah, this is like the girliest shirt I've, <laughs> that I own. Yeah, it just looks Hawaiian. Yeah. It's funny wearing a shirt with my own name on it. <laughs> oh my God.